everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama From Scratch. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Christmas home tour. I hope that this will give you lots of inspiration to decorate your home for this Christmas season. And I wanted to let you know as well that this video is in collaboration with a bunch of other talented ladies here on YouTube. I will leave that playlist linked down in the description box below for you to go watch next. And I want to say thank you to Lisa for putting this collaboration together. So let me go ahead and show you around my home. So here in the entryway, I decided to decorate it um, with a whole new theme this year. I was able to go to Hobby Lobby and pick out a ton of new things. I did a whole video on decorating this space, so if you want to see that, I'll have that link down in the description box below for more detail. Those were thrifted, and then the bench down here I actually made, um, as well as the bench cushion, but I just love the way all of this came out. I really try to keep the home a little bit more on the simple side and do a little bit more of a winter wonderland theme, but I could not resist adding pops of red to the home. So. Opposite wall, I decided to add this uh, snowman that I made. I absolutely love him. I think he's so cute. I did not remove the arrow though. It is permanently attached to the wall, so I just left that there. And then of course the kids hung their Christmas Santa cards here. That way Santa can come get it when he's on his way. So. Now let me go ahead and take you into the living room space. I just love the way this room came out. This is definitely our family room. This is where the kids play with all our toys, so it is definitely more on the clean side right now, but I think the pop of red really um, brings out the room a little bit with it still being on the subtle side. Picking to more of that winter wonderland theme with a pop of red coming out, I used all of my ceramic decor that I got actually from the Target dollar section last year. They still have them this year though, are the ceramic houses the trees, and then this is also from Target Dollar section. And then again, for just a little splash of red, I have this pick in there from Hobby Lobby. And then as you come down here, I have a picture of my son, which I absolutely love. And then a reindeer from Target, a Hobby Lobby pick, and then this Corbel, which is from Hobby Lobby as well. And I have this beautiful farmhouse sign that I made. And I added um, a pop of red on there with a little bit of greenery to really um, bring out the color again because it was just really neutral and I like a little bit of pop of color in there. And then you see the beautiful fireplace as our TV. And as you come down here, I decorated the TV stand with the block letters that I have a DIY on. So again, I will leave all those videos linked in the description box below so that you guys can make them as well. They're super easy. I have my Target trees here, a couple cotton stems on them. The um, runner is from Target as well. And then the garlands from Joann's. And then I have a little pop of red in there from Hobby Lobby. And then of course we have Elf. He moves quite often, let me tell you. In this corner of the house, I kept everything pretty much the same. Um, I ended up going with my um, cotton stems in here and just switching out my fall decor for these um, kind of mistletoe leaves that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, pretty much everything on here is from Hobby Lobby besides the tree and the ceramic. Those are from Target. And then this is a sign I made and I just think it is absolutely beautiful. This is different. Over here I did have our old desk here. Um, and I actually moved that into the boys' playroom and I added this here. I've had this chair for, I think, seven years now and I recovered it with this pretty print and I think this just ties into Christmas so well. So I just put this Target throw over it again to lighten up the space a little bit. This pillow is from Hobby Lobby and this is from the Target dollar section. But I love the way this looks. I think the height is perfect for the shelf and the shelf is up a little bit higher too because of the boys. But I just love the way this whole corner came out. I love the way the mantle came out. I think it is definitely a favorite part of the room for me. Um, the only thing different from the decorating video I did on this space was I added trim to my glass mirror, which I definitely like. I think it brings it out and uh, like allows it to pop in a natural way, not too loud. And then I added some red berries to my glass um, jars up here, which I loved. And then for the garland as well, I added a couple cotton stems in here and some red um, ornaments just to liven it up a little bit and brighten it up. And then I just had the stockings on there for the boys. I added a star from the Dollar Tree, and then I have this cute little tree that I DIYed last year. I flocked it, and then added some berries, and then the tin is from the Target Dollar section. 
the chair the same. I just have my Target throw on it. And then this pillow is actually from Bed Bath & Beyond. I thought it was beautiful. And I actually got it last year on clearance. So again, I just, I love the kind of mixture of the whites, the blacks, and the reds for this year. And then in my tins, I um, did kind of what I did last year. I kept it very simple. I had my lambs in these, little picks from Hobby Lobby that are kind of old school themed. And then I have my red berries, and then I added these uh, gold picks in there, kind of like what I did to the mantle. I wanted a little pop of gold and sparkle in there, so I added those. Kept it really simple. And then to my little iron piece over here, this year I decided to add this wreath to it from the Walmart. Um, and then I added my Santa Please Stop Here sign that I made. I just kind of stuffed it in there. So then down here on our Ikea couch, I have this uh, pillow from Hobby Lobby, the red striped one. These are from Home Goods a couple years ago. And then I have this very everything uh, pillow with switched from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just love the way the whole wall came out. Here on the coffee table, I have um, this tin that I thrifted about a year and a half ago or so. And then again, I kept it kind of similar to the wall tins. This table I get asked a lot about. It was actually a DIY fail on my part. It was a dark ebony color and I wanted it white so I um, sanded it all down and then painted it white and then the poly acrylic actually yellowed it. So I was so mad about that. So I actually just sanded that off and then I got this beautiful look to it. Get asked a lot about that. Um, I did not film it. <laughs> it was just a mistake that happened and it turned out beautiful. And now for the beautiful Christmas tree, you guys. I am so happy with the way the tree came out. I definitely wanted it to be a little bit more on the simple side but still have that beautiful sparkle in it and everything. And I did do a full video on how I decorated the tree but I did change up a few things. I took out the rose gold. Um, ribbon and I added red berries to it which again adds that pop of color into it and uh, these berries are more on the frosted side so I liked the help on uh, more on the subtle side that they were probably thinking where are all the kids ornaments and everything well um, I did have them on the tree but Ezekiel is still in that stage where he likes to pull everything off the tree and he's been dropping them so actually some of them have broken which I'm really sad about we've been gluing them back together so for now I have shatterproof ornaments on here and that is just the way it's gonna stay this tree is actually from King of Christmas, and I want to say thank you to them for sending me this tree. It is absolutely gorgeous. I got the seven and a half foot one. I love the flockedness of it. As long as you don't run into it like my kids do, it really doesn't shed at all. But they like to play underneath it and everything like that. And I like the fact too that the lights on it are very subtle, but they still have that pop, and then you can switch the timer on it. So you can have the lights fade in and out if you wanted to. Now let me take you into the dining room, which is one of my favorite spots in the house. I really wanted an old school farmhouse look to it, and so I went with this. I did a whole entire video on how I did it. I love the way my bench turned out, which I made. I have a video on that. And these are my DIY trees. I love the way they turned out. I actually added a little bit of um, red to them by just adding these picks that are actually from Walmart. And then from that dining room decorate video, um, you guys were suggesting that I add something to the shutters and I wasn't sure exactly what. Everybody suggested mini wreaths, but after putting them up there, I didn't quite like the way they looked. So I ended up going with these stars they are actually from the Target dollar section. Um, and I love the way they looked. I think it's perfect for the Oh Holy Night, the Stars Are Brightly Shining sign in here. And for the 
dining room table. This is actually from Target and I love it. It was such a good steal. It's actually on sale right now. Um, but I added this um, just regular kitchen towel from the Target dollar section. I like the old school striping to it. And then this is actually a placement that I got from Target as well. It was on sale for like $1.50. And I liked the silver kind of coming through. And then this is from Target dollar section from the Target area in the back. And then I just have this silver reindeer from the Dollar Tree. I kept it really simple here for the dining room because we do eat at here and I have little kids. So simple is key for us in this house this year. On each side of the window here, I just have a sign that I made. These a few years ago, Santa said you ate all the cookies. I just, again, I love the red in here for a little pop of color. And then here on this side of the window, I have joy to the world, the Lord has come. And I just think it's pretty. And then up at the very top of the window, I just have my gather here sign that I left traditional. I normally decorate the top of here with some garland, but I ended up using all my garlands for these beautiful trees and I just like that better. So I kept the window a little bit more on the simple side. Bold Christmas kitchen towels from the Target dollar section. Again, I just keep the kitchen really, really simple. And then over here in my nook area, right above the sink, it says um, how many days till Christmas, which Elijah is adamant about setting. And then I have the don't get your tinsel in a tangle. And then my pitcher, I just added those red berries from um, Hobby Lobby and then just had some berries coming out for a little pop of color. our bedroom I did decorate it for Christmas that's something I really do enjoy doing and so I did a whole decorate video with on this room yesterday so if you haven't seen that again I'll have it linked down below for you um, to get further information on if you wanted more details on everything but I, I think it's warm and cozy and then at night I turn on the lights and it's just so romantic I love it I hope you all enjoyed my Christmas home tour be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new because I absolutely love to inspire and motivate you to unleash your creativity on a budget I have so many more fun ideas to share with you this holiday season. Be sure to check out the Christmas playlist linked down in the description box below to see how everyone else has decorated their home for this holiday. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.